Good morning, it's your boy Jake Goble, Orange Cactus Coffee, back at it again with you. Another Angel's Cup tasting flight, another valiant attempt to try and reproduce the mighty Jim Sevens uh, V60 brew technique. I think I'm at about 31 here, 32. So I'm gonna go with a 100 gram bloom, a dirty swirly, and then I'm gonna go, I'm just gonna go to 450 today. Go to 450. There we go. Slow the swirly down. There we go. Maybe this is better. No. You ever, you're doing that? You know, you're like, maybe I'll just do this. Maybe that's better. You ever do something like, um, every day you brush your teeth, every day you floss, every day you're doing these types of things, but then, like, every once in a while, you're like, whoa, wait, what am I doing? How do I do this again? I think sometimes that, well, that just kind of happened to me right now. Like, wait, what am I doing? I know that I do this a lot, but now I can't quite remember the technique. I think it's because my brain was elsewhere. I was just thinking about uh, um, some coffee comments and messages that I've received recently. Um, I, don't, uh, I, I don't get money for uh, Angel's Cup or Press or any other coffee that I try. Every once in a while, somebody will reach out and offer to send me free coffee, which I really don't like. I try as hard as I can not to take people up on it because I, I struggle enough being honest and transparent to begin with. So I don't take, I, we don't get paid. Mike doesn't, I don't. We don't get paid in money or coffee or any other favors from anyone for any of the reviews that we do. It's all just stuff that we buy and we taste it and we report back to you because we like it or don't like it and we want you to have a great coffee spirit experience at home. That's it, that's it. And I don't like saying negative things about people's coffee, especially if they give it to me for free. I feel obligated to say something nice. And so I just don't, that's just personally, I don't do it, I don't like it. So that's why I don't do it. So anyways, if you are um, considering like Angel's Cup or the coffee, it, it, you know, it is what it is. It's exactly what you see. There's no hidden agenda. There's no big money-making scheme going on behind the scenes. And um, if you try it, I'd love to uh, know your thoughts on it. So whether you try Press, whether you try Good Brothers, whether you try Little Amps, whether you try Black Oak, whether you try Two Brothers, whatever you try, you, you let me know. So I'd like to hear about it. Okay, so back to the coffee. We're at two minutes and 45 seconds. Looks like it's going a little bit faster, but that's okay because I was talking and brewing at the same time, and that's what happens. But anyways, that's where my mind ran off to, was um, being a coffee baller is hard, I guess. clean on the side. Shout out to Wokey for my bottle. I bought it. It wasn't free, but they came through in the clutch after they messed up. So I guess maybe they don't deserve prop, but I think they do. They messed something up and they made it right. And that's awesome. There's the drawdown. Bam. There's the drawdown. That's beautiful. That's what I'm looking for. You might not like it, but that's what I'm trying to do. And we killed it. Three and a half minutes. It's beautiful. On the nose, my guess was Kenya. That's what I was guessing on the nose. I don't know what the flavor is gonna be, but that's what I am thinking. So, let's get this going. Gonna go, I got the split cup on the right, got the tulip in the middle, and I've got the open over here on the left. Again, I love these little mugs, but Tim Wendelboe didn't give them to me for free. I bought them, I paid for shipping from Norway. And if you're gonna buy them, you may as well get a bag or two of coffee because you're gonna pay for that shipping. And shipping's really expensive. That's all I'm saying. So you may as well just go grab you some of Tim Wendell Bow's coffee, get you some of these little tasting mugs because they're awesome, and uh, start experimenting with them. All right, I'm gonna start, might as well start with the split. Here we go. Tangerine? Is it tangerine on there? I'm going tangerine right off the bat. I 
I don't want to say Kenya anymore, but I'm going to stick to it. I'm going to say tangerine and dragon fruit. All right, here we go. Heartwood Roasters, Columbia, killed it. Thank you. Lemon, cola, and caramel. Okay. So I was in the citrus family, but I was off there. This one is interesting. Agreed. It has a nice silky mouthfeel and a complex taste. I agree. Initial taste of lemon. I thought tangerine, but I could be wrong. With some cola and caramel. There's also a hint of something hard to distinguish. Reminds me of seaweed. This is a nice subtle undertone. Oh, there is a nice subtle undertone of chocolate. Well, I thought maybe dragon fruit, but... My initial was after tangerine, I wanted to say avocado, but um, I didn't, I, I should have just said it, but I didn't want to because I was like, well, that's not right. Coffee can't be avocado, but if Angel's Cup's getting like seaweed something, it is interesting. It is unique. It is a little bit different. I'm going to have you taste it, see if you get lemon or tangerine, but I think I'm going to stick with the, I think I'm going to stick on the little sweeter side. There's definitely some acidity. There's definitely something else going on there, but it's a really good cup. Thank you, Heartwood Roasters, and thank you, Angel's Cup, and thank you. Have a great weekend.